So who is our first speaker? Professor Alex Dekjar. All right, let's start. Okay, so good, uh, good evening everybody. Uh, about a year and a half ago, at our first Ignite event, I gave a talk that basically had been driven by a point that almost everything you might want to do, you might want to do as a computer scientist. You, computer science goes beyond the traditional mathematics, engineering, and science directions these days, and you can study almost everything. Today, I want to make essentially the opposite point. We're all software engineers now. We're all software engineers, regardless of whether we actually are studying computer science, whether we're studying software engineering. Uh, we're software engineers regardless of whether we think we are. And what I want to tell you is why we're software engineers now and how come and how, what to do to help us. <laughs> so basically, the first thing you guys can ask is how can I be a software engineer if I don't know how to program? Especially for those of you who are not planning on being a software engineer or a computer scientist. So what I want to tell you is that essentially, for the large point I'm trying to make, programming or being able to program is irrelevant. This is what this is an opinion that's usually held by people who think that all there is to software development is right here, it's just coding. That is actually patently not true. In fact, almost every single, even very simple model of a software development process puts coding as just one little part of the entire thing. In fact, what you get to see here is... Uh, there we go. What you get to see is the fact that we start with an idea, and we proceed with a really, really bright software idea to requirements from there to design, then only we get to code, and then after the code is complete, there's still testing, validation, and making sure we can, uh, we can use the software. So only the coding and parts of testing and design need to be done by people who know how to program. Everything else can be done pretty much by anybody. Everybody can come up with an idea, everybody, uh, everybody can develop it. What's important these days about software is not the ability of somebody to write the code. What's important is the ability of people to come with the right idea, to come with, with an idea that will capture everybody's minds. So just because you can become a software engineer doesn't mean you will. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you why you should. And I'm going to try to kind of make a point of why really you should be prepared for that. So, this is the days of yore. This is what software development looked like many, many years ago. You had to be doing things like satellite, or launching satellites, or working for a big bad bank system, or doing lots and lots of other crazy engineering or scientific things. And in order to be the person who comes up with the idea, you had to be a very, very smart scientist or an engineer, or a very high military, uh, high ranking military official, or you had to be a very, very ambitious MBA. So these days, this is what software looks like. Rather than trying to micromanage your life, software penetrates every single aspect of it. From going to sleep and basically being monitored by an app that tries to figure out what you're doing there, to doing lots and lots of other things. Dating, eating, sleeping, reading. It's all there, and the idea is that you don't have to be a computer scientist to come up with the idea for all that software that you saw there. <laughs> so, basically, if that's the case, why not come up with those ideas? Why not develop them? So, how can you do this? What do you need to know in order to become a real software engineer? So, that's what you need to know. You need to understand how software engineering process works. This is not something we teach non-computer scientists or non-traditional software engineers. But this is something that you need to learn. The other thing you need to learn, and this is why we have it there, is not to make a mortal enemy out of the person who actually codes your software. By giving them bad requirements, by being... by not working right with them. So, you've learned a really, really hor hor horrible secret today, a terrible secret today. This is April the 13th, so this is my kind of... April the 13th topic. You've learned a really, really horrible secret. You're all software engineers, regardless of whether or not you want, uh, you want them to be. So, the point I'm trying to make is that 
you know that. People who didn't come to this Ignite don't. So make a really, really good use of this knowledge and go and develop your own software. <laughs>